It feels like yesterday that we received a big V28 update with the 120 Hz, the air link, well, pretty much everything we wanted. But yeah, Oculus didn't stop. And today they're starting to release another massive update to make your Quest experience even better. We kind of mix reality, phone notifications, new sharing options for the original Oculus Quest, redesigned dashboard, and much more. Hey, Ty here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, so let's discover together what we are getting with the update V29 on the Oculus Quest. Let's get into it. Hey guys, 3K more to 100K. Remember, we're doing a giveaway when we reach 100K uh, to thank you all uh, for the support during the year. And uh, well, we're gonna start to give away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year. That's huge. So yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe. And of course, enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So we're gonna go point by point. There's an amazing article also on the Oculus blog. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna leave it in the description below. But well, here it's gonna be much faster because there's a lot to read. So point number one, and one of the coolest one is the fact that now app sharing is also available on the original Oculus Quest. You know the feature that they added to share games with your family and friends? Well, yeah, now it's uh, also on the original Quest. And I think that it's an amazing move because many of us, I mean, that's my experience anyway, had the old Oculus Quest and then updated to the Oculus Quest 2 and now you're able to share games between them. So yeah, it's super exciting indeed. I hope the app sharing became mandatory, but actually didn't. So some games actually don't support it. But now we have the good news that even on Quest, you're going to be able to share your apps. So yeah, point number one, very positive indeed. All right, point number two is something that we were waiting for very, very long. And it's the microphone. Finally, during the recording on the Oculus Quest 2 and the Oculus Quest, so finally you're able to record what you're saying uh, while you're playing and not just the audio in game and something like that. So they're finally making it possible to share better your games with people and let them know what it means to be in VR. So if you want to be a new streamer, or something like that, that would be great for you. Uh, hopefully uh, it works better uh, than what the recording uh, is working on till right now. Uh, it's ever been the best when it comes to audio sync and something like it. But yeah, at least right now you're gonna be able to also record your microphone. So record what you're saying while you're playing. And another thing that is also super awesome is that they added this feature called overlay. And this is super exciting because it's pretty much mixed reality baked in the Oculus app. Now there's a catch though. Right now it's available just for iOS. So just for iPhones and stuff like that because probably they're using the uh, lighter sensor on the back to understand where you're at and having a great better picture of, of course, of you to carry the separation between the real world you and then the virtual world because you're gonna be able to place yourself while you're streaming to the web or streaming, you know, to a smartphone, uh, well, to place yourself in the virtual reality environment to have a complete mixed reality view. And also that is supported from every game that supports recording and streaming. This is super excited indeed. Uh, I wish I was more excited because I don't have an iPhone. I'm not gonna have an iPhone, so I'm not gonna be able to try it myself. But if you have an iPhone, well, uh, good luck. Hopefully you have the right models to be able to use it. This, by the way, is gonna roll out as a test feature on the Oculus app on the smartphone as well that you're gonna have to update for it. And uh, hopefully it's gonna arrive to Android as well in the future because yeah, I wanna see it there. Now, point number three, that actually sounds more like a point number four because there were three prior days. But by the way, you're gonna be able to have full notification on your Oculus while playing. And that's absolutely fantastic. So instead of getting out of your headset every time that you wanna check your phone, well, you're gonna be able to check your notifications directly in there while playing, in the menus and something like that. So it's very, very nice indeed for productivity and also for ease of use because yeah, everything is gonna be in there. Again, there is catch though, it's just for iOS users. So if you have an iPhone, again, lucky you boy. If not, well, you're an Android user like me, we gotta have to wait a bit longer. They said that it's gonna arrive in the future also for Android, they're working on it. It's just weird, considering also that the Quest is running on a version of Android. Uh, yeah, so it's very odd, but yeah, phone notifications are gonna be a thing in VR, uh, not just for PC user. I was doing that before, even having an entire phone in VR, but yeah, notifications are there. Super cool indeed on your standalone headset. Now I'm gonna drop the counting because there are more updates. There was a leak about it and turned out to be true. Now we're gonna have more colorful uh, icons in our dashboard. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I just have to get used to it. Uh, they don't look super intuitive, but well, uh, again, 
maybe it's just time and uh, we're gonna get used to it. So uh, it's gonna be a redesign, it's gonna be a bit more cheerful and something uh, nice, uh, we'll see. And by the way, because this update is more focused toward sharing and stuff, they created also a new file app. You're gonna be able to share your screenshots, your videos and something like that much, much better. Before it was always a bit confusing, everything was together instead of oh, now, you're gonna be able to see where are the pictures, where are the videos and something like that. So very, very nice indeed. Also, another thing that they added, it's a little toggle in the quick action uh, to have the pass through because some people didn't know that you have to double tap to actually see the pass through. Uh, and well, so you have the option also in the menu with a little toggle. You click on it, you have the, your pass-through, you click on it again and you're out of your pass-through. Great for productivity again. Considering that we have the latest update with a keyboard and everything, well, this is another perk uh, to make that part even better. And now the last point, we're gonna start to put ads and sponsored applications on the store. That means the developer is gonna be able to pay Facebook and be sponsored in the store. So you're looking for, uh, I don't know, a ping pong game instead, Racket Fury want to be sponsored, you're gonna see a Racket Fury Fury before 11 tennis. So uh, that's pretty much how it's gonna work. Of course, they're saying that this is for the developer to make it easier for them to discover new games. At the end, we're getting more and more games. So having some ads in there is normal. Are gonna be able to create more profit on the Facebook part and hopefully more profit also for the developer part. Uh, we're used to that also on consoles and something like it. So I don't think anything is gonna change. Uh, you're gonna have a more targeted thing on uh, like uh, apps on your phone when you browse like uh, on the store and everything. It's not gonna change much. Uh, if you're always looking for new games, you're gonna be able to find something new probably. So at the end, Facebook is an advertising company pretty much. So yeah. I thought it was coming, right? So yeah, if we have a desire for all the features of update V29, I think it's absolutely fantastic. All these things about the mixed reality and the phone notification are very interesting indeed. And it's like, it needs to use uh, for this headset to keep you inside even longer and be able to share even more with people. Also the microphone uh, during the videos, it, it's big. It's something that was lacking for no reason at all. And finally we have it. And also the app sharing on the original Quest is fantastic to see finally for, for all the users that still rock the amazing Oculus Quest 1, like I do, by the way. Again, I'm kind of sad that these features are arriving mostly on the iOS instead of Android for now, uh, or not together, but just one platform. Uh, well, if we have to wait a bit longer, not really a problem. Uh, they're gonna arrive, so uh, it's a good thing there. Actually, they didn't say that the mixed reality thing is gonna arrive. Hopefully it doesn't rely too much on the LiDAR sensor on the iPhone, but yeah, uh, right now that's what we have. So what's your favorite part of the update and what you like to see next? I think that every time they come out with something that nobody was expecting, like this mixed reality thing, it's really awesome indeed. I probably said that 30 times, but I'm pretty excited for it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they're gonna bring in the future. At the end, well, we are learning that we can expect really everything from the team. They're absolutely fantastic. But yeah, V29, it's arriving soon. It's gonna start to roll out very, very soon. As always, it's gonna be gradually. So don't expect to have a day one as V28. Some people are still waiting for it. Same thing is gonna happen for V29. Uh, so if I am gonna have the link, I'm gonna post it in the manual update like I did with V28. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. But yeah, that's all guys. As always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. To learn further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. At the same time, we have t-shirt sticker and mask 2021 item number one. But yeah, again, as always, again, again, like, dislike, subscribe, and see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.